Hi, welcome to Think Tech. We are raising public awareness on technology, energy, diversity, and globalism. This show is Center Stage. I am your host, Donna Blanchard, proud managing director of Kumu Kahua Theater. And we are coming to you live from Pioneer Plaza in the heart of downtown Honolulu, very near Kumu Kumu Kahua Theater. It is my pleasure to, maybe I'm the first one who gets to announce this to you. Uh, Think Tech just won an award for uh, being an outstanding broadcasting network from OC16. So congratulations to us at Think Tech. I'm happy to be a part of the crew. I'm very happy also to introduce you to my guest today. Rather than have anyone here in the studio with me, uh, I, our guest is coming to us via Skype. He's in Phoenix right now, but he's from the um, Democratic, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot. He's from the Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo. He's a pediatrician there. The reason he's here on center stage is because he is also involved in, he, he uses theater to help create peace. And of course, you know, that got my radar up. My uh, thank you very much to my good friend, Laura Dooley, who introduced me to Adolfe Nyakasane. Adolfe, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Donna. Thank you very much. It is, it is such a pleasure to meet you. I, I know that Laura would not have connected us if she was not really thrilled by what you're doing. And uh, obviously, I think you were at some event and she sent me an email saying, you have to meet this guy, <laughs> you have to talk to him, and a couple of weeks later, here you are. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I'm very glad to be here. So you are a Mandela Washington Fellow currently. Yes. And what does that involve? Yes. Um, Mandela Washington Fellowship for Young African Leaders is a program of the U.S. government launched by President Obama in 2010. And that program aims to train young African leaders who are committed to change and development in their communities. So they come to the USA for a six weeks program in a U.S. university. Then they go to Washington, D.C. for four days uh, for a presidential summit. They meet the president, they discuss with, with him, and they learn from him. And after that, some of them are selected for an internship. So that's it. Uh, there are three different tracks in this program. Um, uh, and we have public management, we have civic leadership, and we have business and entrepreneurship. Those are the three tracks of this program. And I was in public management at, the, at Syracuse University in New York. That's it. And now I'm doing my internship at the Vitalist Health Foundation in Tennessee, in Arizona. Okay, so you are, that, that, that what an awesome opportunity for you and a responsibility for you to bring that knowledge back with you. Indeed. Yeah. What do you feel is, I'm sure you're learning so much every day in this program. Oh, I'm sorry, you're, uh, you're frozen a little bit. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes. okay good. I'm, I'm sorry, we, we might have missed your last comment there. Are you, um, well, let me just ask a question. What do you feel as a part of this track is, uh, the greatest piece of knowledge that you've gained? You know, um, this program is uh, really uh, a huge opportunity for young African leaders to, you know, to come to stay and learn from what they do back home in their countries. For me, it is, uh, you know, uh, a life-changing experience because, you know, um, I learned much things about democracy, about leadership, about, you know, how to manage uh, projects, uh, development projects. Uh, and I'm really glad that, you know, uh, I feel like I could change the world now, you know, that's it. And I can continue to learn now as I am in Yeah, really, it's 
the next gen experience. Wow. Isn't the Democratic Republic of Congo the youngest country in the world? Did I make that up, or is that for a fact? Um, better not, you know, the Democratic Republic of the Congo is um, a country located in Central Africa. It is a very big country. It is the second biggest country in Africa, um, according to the size. You know, and uh, we have, uh, you know, we border nine countries. So it is a, a strategic country also, you know, um, that's it. And also, it's you that is very uh, rich country going to natural resources. Oh. Do you catch me? Yeah, you bro you broke up for a, for a little bit in the middle there, but I th I thank you for that for the description. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it is a country that is um, supportive of change, and really ready for that kind of growth? Yes, um, the, the Democratic Republic of the Congo uh, now is a country uh, which is, you know, looking forward, uh, you know, um, uh, according to, to, you know, democracy, to development also. Uh, let me tell you that we have, you know, uh, a sad past in that country. Uh, that country went through uh, dramatic situation uh, over the 20 past years, uh, you know, that we went through war and rebellions in that country. And now uh, our country is, let me say, stable and we are now looking forward, you know, for development and change. We have a past really uh, which uh, teach them that we should now go ahead in democracy and development. Yeah, it is really exciting. I, I, I think it is really exciting to be in your place at this time if, with that country moving forward. So you, you do have a lot of amazing natural resources and it's wonderful to see the dem your democracy taking command of that. Mm -hmm. So. I would really love to hear when I wrote to you, wrote back to you after um, our initial introduction, and I said that my my work is centered on theater of place. You said my work is centered on theater of peace uh, and human rights, yeah. uh, and I just thought, oh my goodness, that is that is so amazing. I have never heard anyone utter those words before. Can you? Uh, take us back a little bit into your, because you're, you're a doctor, uh, yes. you have a scientific education and background, but here you are also involved in theater, near and dear to my heart. If you were here, I would date you. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you, when did you begin your involvement in theater? Okay, um, I began my, uh, you know, uh, my work in theater in uh, 2013. Uh, in 2013, I began. But uh, oh. prior to that, I would like to tell you that in 2008, I took part to an inter-university competition launched by Search for Common Ground the Common Ground is a U.S. NGO involved in peace and conflict resolution in Africa. So, Central Common Ground is launching uh, an inter-university competition under the theme, what can we do as youth so that the Great Lakes region may become a haven of peace in 20. 25. So that was the theme of uh, that competition. And the competition was supported by USAID. You know, uh, USAID is that very, very huge uh, NGO 
from the American people. Yeah. So I took part to that competition and I wrote a proposal of uh, 12 pages. And I, I said what I think we should do in the Great Lakes region. But when I say the Great Lakes region, you, you, you should understand the Congo, Rwanda, and Burundi especially. So I proposed what we should do. Uh, and my proposal was really appreciated and I won the second peace prize in the Great Lakes region. So uh, that is how I began, you know, to, you know, uh, to have these, these ideas of, uh, you know, doing theater. Because in my proposal, I said that through culture, you know, we may um, involve ourselves in peace, in democracy. You know. And then I decided to create the Our Lady of Peace Ballet. The Our Lady of Peace Ballet is a youth cultural group which advocates for peace, fraternity, and peaceful coexistence among the people of the Great Lakes region. So that's it. You know, it is uh, based on our past, you know, a past of war and rebellion and trouble. You know that you know I decided to go in in peace being that oh okay it okay let's um thank you very much for that explanation and for clarifying the Great Lakes because when you say that I think Wisconsin Michigan Indiana and Illinois <laughs> you know um, so thank you for clarifying that I would I would like to hear more about your initial proposal when we come back, though, we're going to take a quick break here. All right, so you stay put, please. And you stay put also, please. We'll be back with um, Adolphe Nyakasane from the De Democratic Republic of Congo here on Center Stage in just a moment. Hi, my name is Kim Lau, and I'm the host of Hawaii Rising. You can watch me every other Monday at 4 p.m. I'm Jay Fidel, and I'm the host of Research in Manoa, Mondays from 12 to 1 on thinktechhawaii.com. Take a look at us and learn about uh, geophysics, learn about planetology, learn about the ocean and earth sciences at UH Manoa. You'll really enjoy it. So come around. We'll see you then. For a very healthy summer, watch Viva Hawaii. We're giving you the best tips and with our best health coach here. So Viva Health Coach. Viva la comida saludable. Aloha, my name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. We are the co-hosts of Keys to Success, which is live on Think Tech live streaming network series, weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. Aloha. Aloha. Hi, we're back on Think Tech, the award-winning station. Thank you, OC16, for recognizing our merit here in Honolulu. I'm Donna Blanchard. This show is Center Stage, and we are talking with um, a, a pediatrician, a doctor who is also involved in theater for peace in the Democratic Republic of Kondo, uh, uh, Congo, Adolphe Nyakasani. Welcome back. Thank um, you. So, uh, can we get down to brass tacks of what it was that? Um, what it was in your proposal that you've actually been able to move forward with, how that has worked? Can you hear me? Great. Uh, uh, for the question, uh, in the proposal, yes, I do. I, do. Okay. I hear you. Okay. Great. Yes. Uh, I was saying that in my proposal, I proposed to create a cultural group and that cultural group is supposed to advocate, to strongly advocate for peace, human rights, and fraternity through music, traditional dances, 
and theatrical performances. That is, you know, the 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 key idea of uh, my proposal. And what we are doing in uh, our group, in the Our Lady of Peace Ballet, is exactly that. It means every year we have three or five uh, performances of a play or a show and we try to you know to, to deliver to, to to provide education peace democracy and human rights uh, let me tell you that for example for next year we are preparing uh, a show a play uh, that I composed with a friend of mine when I was doing my studies in Belgium with a relation with the Gajatrix. Uh, we composed uh, a play called Demain les Irondelles. It is in French and it means Tomorrow the Swallow. Uh, I, I hope you know the swallow, you know, these birds that announce spring. Oh. You know? Yes. Tomorrow the swallows, and uh, the aim of this uh, uh, piece of theater is to, to proclaim uh, the highest need of peace and fraternity in the Great Lakes region, and it will involve young people from the Congo, from Rwanda, and from Peru. Together, we will perform that play. So that's what uh, we we are doing. So tomorrow, the, tomorrow this swallows uh, means you know uh, the bad time is behind us. Now let's look uh, you know uh, the future, the future, and build you know uh, a peaceful region together. Oh, wow. So, and has this actually, this has come to fruition? You've, you have perf performed these pieces? Uh, yes, uh, you know, uh, since 2013, every year we perform some pieces. But uh, the one I'm uh, about, we perform next year in 2017. So in Kabu, the Kabu is uh, the main town of South Kivu. South Kivu is my province. It is in the eastern Congo. After Bukavu, we shall go to Goma. Goma is uh, also in the eastern Congo. Then we shall go to Kigali. Kigali is the main town of Rwanda. Then we shall go to Bujumbura. Bujumbura is the main town of Burundi. That's it. So are you looking for any sort of measurable results from these performances? Um, yes, uh, this is a very uh, good question. Um, measure, measurable uh, results. Yes, uh, what we would like to, to, to see is that in each region we have, you know, um, Youth groups which begin to discuss about peace, about issues uh, in human rights, about issues in democracy. Yeah, we 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 like to to create groups, you know, uh, of young people, young boys and young girls in every town. Groups of uh, you know reflection and, and you know and, and, and thinking about peace and democracy and we should, and we like to you know to, to reach the major the major part of uh, the youngest population in this country. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. You know, uh, a, 
a lot of us in art, theaters who are producing, you know, off-Broadway shows, theater like, theaters like mine who produce shows that are all written by and about people here, um, our, our work may be a lot more, um, our goals less lofty uh, than yours, but they're all still very important. They, they are all about producing or recognizing community and fraternity and opening our eyes to what's going on with our neighbors sitting next to us and our neighbors across the ocean. Yeah. So it, is, it, it just warms my heart to hear about this happening um, in such an important arena that you have there. So kudos to you for being a part of this, for making this happen. Uh, how, now, how many people, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the organization that is making this happen? How many of you are there? Who is driving this with you? Okay, uh, very good question. Um, uh, this uh, brings me to um, tell you about uh, my nonprofit, my run nonprofit, which is called Action Social Education Fund. Um, Action Social is the French. Social protection and Kesho Congo is in Swahili. Kesho Congo means tomorrow Congo, the future of Congo. So, in that non profit, we are working on projects in the fields of health, education, agriculture, and farming. So, what we do in the field of health is essentially quite malnutrition in children under 10 years old. We also provide uh, health education in the, main, in the main radio and TV of our town. And also we fight neonatal mortality uh, by supporting the work of the wide. That is what we are doing in the field of health. Now in education, here we have the activities of the Our Lady of East Ballet, you know, education to peace, education to democracy and human rights. So we are a group of over 50 young boys and young girls in Bukavu, my hometown. We have a director of uh, the Our Lady of this Ballet, his name is Pierre Luca Patak. He's also a writer, you know, oh. the one who uh, oh, oh, you're, you're, you're breaking up a little bit, so I'm just going to... Yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, you, you broke up a little bit at the end there, so I'm just going to, to, to summarize here that you, have, you are going into um, various districts and you're able to bring um, medical help and attention and education as well as education on community and growth and democracy and you are able to wrap a lot of that up in the joy of music and camaraderie and dance yeah yeah that's it that's it and also and also in in the field of agriculture we are helping rural women we are empowering rural women you know in supporting their activities you know uh, to help them to to grow you know home Rise so so and help me and allow me to allow me to, to just speak you uh, you know um, tell you a little bit uh, more about uh, what we are doing in Kaupi. Kaupi is a tropical plant, uh, very rich in protein. You know, it is a kind of vegetable, and it is very rich in protein. Okay. So what we are doing in fighting malnutrition in children under 10 years old is to promote the cultivation of healthy. So uh, what we do is to grow healthy. 
And then we harvest the leaves of poppy. We crush them. And then we press and squeeze them. We collect the green juice. And the idea is to coagulate this green juice to manufacture high protein biscuits and powder, you know, to fight malnutrition oh. in cheese. This is also, you know, uh, another way, you know, to, to, to promote peace because, you know, those children who are dying from hunger, you know, sometimes they are the ones who become, you know, bandits, you know, in our town because they are looking for what to eat. So uh, they will go to, you know, to steal and that thing. So it means uh, fighting malnutrition is also, you know, uh, another way, you know, to promote peace. You know, oh, you know. yeah. yeah, I just wanted to, to tell you about uh, what but our subject today is about the theater, you know, uh, um, but I, so that's it. Thank you so much. I, um, I just have about a minute left here, so I need to wrap up. But thank you very much for, for being with us, for telling your story, but much more than that, for the work that you're doing and the, the light and joy that, with which you are doing it. it you, are, you are just a, a person I'm really privileged to know. Thank you very much. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Diana. <laughs> I hope to stay in touch with you. and. Who knows, maybe we can bridge the oceans and, and uh, collaborate someday. Great. <laughs> I'd like to see that happen. I'd, I'd also like to thank you for being here, our audience on Center Stage. I would like to thank a few people here uh, um, who are with me. Our floor manager, Nick Sexton, who's right over there. Thank you, Nick. I'd also like to thank our studio overlord, Zuri Bender, who is in my ear, and Jay Fidel, our producer, who somehow manages to put all of this together. Congratulations on the award from um, OC16, Jay. You deserve it. We will see you all next week on Center Stage. Bye.